The old asylum stood like a corroding skeleton upon the wooded hill, a relic from a darker time. Within those crumbling walls, the mentally disturbed were subjected to treatments more befitting medieval witch hunts than modern medicine. We interrupt your programming with breaking news. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Jones with a breaking news alert. We've just received word that there has been an escape from the Elm Hill State Asylum. Details are still coming in, but I can confirm that at least one patient is unaccounted for after a security breach at the facility. We go now to our field reporter, Amy Roberts, who is on the scene. Amy, what more can you tell us about the situation? Jennifer, the details are still emerging, but it appears there was some type of altercation between patients here at the asylum this afternoon that escalated quickly. In the chaos, one individual was able to scale the security fence and flee the grounds. Authorities have confirmed the escapee is 28-year-old Daniel Simpson, who has been a patient here for the past five years after being found not guilty by reason of insanity of assaulting his mother. We're getting some unconfirmed reports now about a possible sighting of one of the escaped inmates. Amy, what can you tell us? Jennifer, authorities are responding to a 911 call from a home just inside the perimeter. Untold, the homeowner saw Simpson staggering through their backyard before taking cover in a tool shed on the property. Simpson, this is the FEP, so come out with your hands up. Suspect is down. I repeat, Simpson is down, requesting ambulance immediately. The next hour unfolds in a frantic barrage of calls texting unconfirmed witness reports flooding social media. Some claim Simpson was shot trying to attack the officers. As protests break out near the crime scene, the city is plunged into chaos and uncertainty. This is an evolving situation. We will continue to provide updates as more information becomes available. For your safety, do not venture out until these inmates have been apprehended. Stay tuned for further developments. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. I can't believe this happened. We pride ourselves on the security and care we provide our patients. And now this... The patients overpowered us. We never saw it coming. Now those poor souls are out there, unmedicated and unstable. God knows what they'll do. The public safety has to be our top priority now. But these are still our responsibility, our patients. We have a duty of care. Uh, so we just let them run free and hope they don't hurt anyone. You know what the cops will do if they catch them. Overnight, law enforcement conducted grid sweeps of the dense woods surrounding the asylum with heat sensors and K-9 units. While they have not located any of the escaped patients, their efforts have narrowed the search area. Drone footage from daylight is also now assisting the operation. This has been brought to you by Ace Media Films. And broken hearts, wrapped in shadows thick. Flicker of a dying light. Hopes disappear quick. Corridors of empty dreams. Sanity.